it's fairly easy to build up a list of certifications, but are these data analyst certifications worth it? Will they really help you get your first job or your next job in analytics? I'm Jen, and today we're going to be talking about whether data analyst certifications matter. While you're here, check out the description for additional analytics resources. Let's cut to the chase. Do data analyst certifications matter? The short answer is sometimes and it depends. That's not an incredibly helpful answer. So let's get into the case for certifications, the case against certifications, and a more nuanced answer of exactly when you should take time to get certified and when you shouldn't waste your time. First, the pros, the case for certification. Certification implies that you have expertise on a topic. You've taken time to study it. You've passed some sort of test of knowledge and earn a certification. A second point in favor of certification is that many companies offer certification on their products. Tableau offers certification, which we just talked about recently. SAS offers certifications and a plethora of other companies offer certifications often at varying levels showing that people do have competence and are skilled to work in their applications. Some certifications also require a certain amount of work experience to be able to even sit for the certification exam. These types of certifications are viewed favorably by others, most notably hiring managers. They imply a verification and demonstration of your knowledge by a respected, recognized, independent third party. These certifications look great on a resume. There's also a case against certifications, data analyst certifications or otherwise. Anybody can create a certification. Many certifications don't even require you to demonstrate any knowledge of the topic in order to get this verification that you know what you're talking about. You work through a course or possibly even click through a course and voila, you have the certification saying you're skilled in this topic. But all it's really proven is you spent the money, or some cases not even money, just the time to click through the course to get this piece of paper. These sort of certifications are somewhat like for-profit colleges. We all agree that they're colleges and there's potential for you to learn a lot from them. However, your degree is in no way similar to a Harvard degree. This doesn't mean that the courses themselves are a waste of time or useless. You can learn an incredible amount of information even from a course that doesn't result in certification. Most courses shouldn't result in certification. They should be tools that you use to build your skill set and learn more about new topics or learn more deeply about topics you're already familiar with. But these courses don't make for good certifications. And when you start collecting a lot of these certificates and certifications, posting them on your LinkedIn, adding them to your resume, it just looks like you're good at collecting certifications without necessarily ever demonstrating that you know how to use all the skills that you're learning. Tying this all together, data analyst certifications certainly have their place. Pick certifications that come from recognized organizations that require you to demonstrate some knowledge in the subject matter that you're getting the certification in. If you're taking courses just to build your knowledge, I'd recommend not showing all of these certifications on your LinkedIn or your resume. Instead, focus on building out projects that demonstrate that you can use all of these skills that you've developed. Target certifications that are very specific to demonstrating this knowledge. Keep your certifications area limited to certifications that meet the criteria that we talked about. They're from a recognized third party that has some incentive to not just pass everyone. For many people, this may still mean that you have a dozen or more certifications. There's nothing wrong with that if they really do add value as certifications on their own merit but you're much better off building out projects that demonstrate the skills if you're just adding certificates or certifications from taking one-off classes that anyone that completes the class is able to earn. If you're an analyst or thinking of becoming an analyst, check out my career quiz on which type of analytics might be best for you. You can find the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.